good at it. I can't say nice things off the jump. Like it, like nice things have to be genuine. All right, cool. So let me run the show. I'm not mad at it. Ugh. It's this week's homebody. I'm, I'm here. I don't know. She's here. I'm here. I'm all yeah. Introduce some people. They're I'm, here because of you. No, they're not. You're the famous one. I promise you, they're here because of you. My name is Chanel Hart, and I'm here with. I'm here. I'm Punch. Hey, what's up? How y'all feeling? It's DJ good. DJ Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I hate when you do that. It sounds like the guy from EA Sports. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. but it's yeah. not, I'm not announcing. I'm it's just hilarious. Down. So I feel like I never live up to the expectation because it's like DJ Punch, and it's like I'm. Do it. Game. Say the ending too. It's in the game. Oh, it's in the, <laughs> it's in the game. Oh, you know about this? Yes. Are you one of those girls? No, I'm not. Don't listen. First of all, I would never play Madden. I'm not really into like context, but like I can't play a video game. Like that. I'm a first person shooter type of bitch, you know? First person shooter Yes, type of yes. Like, I need to be able to, like, shoot things. And I like, like, I like hard point, domi- hard point domination. That's what I like. What the fuck is that? So, okay. So, when you're playing video games, like a Call of Duty or something, okay. you can hold down the hard point. So, it's like defending your territory in a way, you know? So, like, you can't let people on the other side get up on your shit. Like, you have to shoot them before they even get close. So this is a real thing. This is like yes. a real game term? Yes, I play Titanfall. That's a game? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so you had one of these gamer boyfriends before. No, that's not it. Yeah, I, I know the drill. No, just a nigga bought me an Xbox. <laughs> oh, must be nice. I'm saying he wasn't my boyfriend. He just bought an Xbox. I guess the benefits of you. Hmm. The benefits of Chanel Hart getting gifts. But, I mean, how are you feeling this week? Like, how is everything? Feeling good? I feel good. Yeah. I feel great, yeah. You look good. Thanks. This is an interesting outfit. I, I assume that when it progresses... What's so interesting about it? Like, why did you use that term? Because it, it like, cute? cuts, like, directly under the titty. Oh, my God. It's so hot, ain't it? It's sexy. That's what you meant to say. Because it's like you just hope that you laugh and that, like, a nipple falls out or something. <laughs> That's pretty horny, but yeah. Most of or the I people, go to like reach. If they're here, if they're here, <laughs> they're here like for horny. The hornies are coming for you. That's okay, dude. I think that's what it is. I think the funnies come from me, and the hornies come from you. Dudes are hornies, horny. Too? Yeah, I think I think you do have hornies. Because the last I mean, time we posted, it was a couple hornies. A lot of horny bitches. <laughs> you know what though? Like you follow. Remember one day you said you follow all the naked bitches. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. horny. You're a horny guy. So if guys are here well, like seeing me, they like you're one of those horny guys. The thing with the naked girls is like this, you know. Um, <laughs> he has an explanation. This is hilarious. Yeah, like they're art. They're art. They're artists. I agree. Yeah, I'm absolutely an artist. Ooh, so you got this art. You got to learn how to like poke your leg up mm-hmm. and poke your butt out. It takes a long time. Yeah, people think it's easy being naked. Is it easy for you? I mean, which part? How often in a day are you actually naked? I don't like wearing clothes. You know what it is? I don't like wearing tops. I love wearing panties, but I don't like wearing tops. Panties? Why did you say it like that? (laughs) Panties? Panties. Panties. I like like wearing panties. Yeah, I like wearing panties. I feel comfortable in panties. How often are men buying you panties? Hmm. I mean, I buy my own panties. You should start a panty They buy them from me. Men buy panties from me. After you wear them. After I wear them. I hear about this. I think you tapped on this a little bit, but like, mm-hmm. what are they? they just want to just smell like... So, yeah. Smell them. Jerk off. Why are smelling your panties? So then you sell their panties. They're shoving their face because that's the yes. only way Do you know v- to just smell it. Vaginas what? have pheromones. What? Okay. So, like, I, I don't know the proper term for it, so we would have to Google it. So, it's like... But... Women have pheromones, like just like natural scents and stuff that you can smell from a yeah, vagina. I know, I know, I'm just fucking with you. Oh, yeah, so you know all about smelling pussy, huh? You know what a pussy's supposed to smell like? Supposed to smell like? Yeah, supposed to. Yeah. We're going to go so. with supposed to. I think I figured it out by now. Oh, okay. Do you like by the now, pussy like, smells? Some of them. Some. <laughs> some of them. Remember, we spoke about you have to walk. Oh, Jesus. Let's not, let's not go back like, there. But you would never buy a chick's panties. Bike panties? Yeah. If I'm really in love with what's happening, under. yeah. Okay. Do you support the naked bitches that you follow? In what way? Because they're always begging for something. <laughs> oh my god, begging! You're always begging. Of is it is it begging or is it them um, advertising their their career? No, it's begging. 
Why is it begging? Because they're always asking for shit. They'll be like, I'm hungry. Oh my God, I want to see a movie. They're basically like, please, someone pay for it for me. Because I'm lazy. Because they're lazy. No, because they because guys like them. That's why they can make demands like that. I know there's mad clown boys out here. This this. It, oh my god, you guys are not clowns. If you are a generous man, please do not hesitate to hit me up. <laughs> See, that's why they're gonna get you, and I'm not. You gonna are be not able a clown. You. I'm you not gonna be able loves. to get you like this. Because like they they want they you just want them to just donate away. Donate. Yeah, Why is it? No, you're paying me for a service. See, that's the thing about sex work is that people think that we're not doing a, a, a service. Wait, it's, now we got the sex work. We're talking about the movies. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that got fast. Okay, but the naked bitches on Instagram is the same thing as doing sex work. They're promoting sex brands. They're promoting OnlyFans. Yo, you know those girls don't think, you know those girls. like. What, what do, do you, they think? Let me ask you a question. What do you think they think? They think like, like y'all are the hoes and they're not. Facts, ho, whatever. Okay, subjective, very subjective. What's a ho? Um, to me, my yeah. definition yeah, of yeah, a ho. You. Yeah, you. I think a ho does it for no reason, with no agenda. I think a ho does it because she just wants to have fun. I think that is ho like, but oh, I feel like, okay. yeah, I feel like it- I am not personally a ho, and my sex worker friends are not hoes because there's always an agenda to why we're doing what we do. There's always a check in front of us. There's always an opportunity in front of us. So there's a reason why we do what we do. Huh. But I think a hoe is, a hoe does it just because. I think a hoe sucks mad niggas off in the hood and she doesn't care. In the hood? In the hood. Why'd you say the hood? Like there's hoes in suburbs. Okay, and they don't, they don't, they, they serve their virginity and they get fucked in their ass. That's what hoes in the suburbs do. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm Holy sorry. Holy shit. Black girls do anal too. Yeah, but we do that later after someone takes the virginity. Like these girls are just. I like, didn't even say black or white, bro. We was talking hood suburbs. Like, you win that one. <laughs> you win. I wasn't making it a race thing. I know. I already fucked it up. They're probably going to fight me later. That's the first, first negative comment. They're like, Jesus, what do you mean black women? I know. Black people are in the suburbs too. I know. <laughs> We're in the suburbs right now. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Rich folk neighborhood. Oh, and you say all that. Close enough. Upper middle class. That's what they call it. Upper middle class for the celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> You're quite the celebrity. I think you are. I think you are. Like I, I think we've been at like more like social settings and people I watch people come up to you, shake your hand. Like people don't do that for me. Like they just look at me from afar with a weird look. Like is that her? Oh no! Like they like scoping me out, but like you have a look. A look? <laughs> what is this? You have a look. I want to hear this. You have a look. I mean, yes. You're a big guy. The chains, pinky ring. Like this is like your standard look. Like I just the hat. The cash on a pinky ring. Yeah. See, I've never seen you in a button-up shirt. It's like always hoodies. A button-up shirt. Look, you sound offended when I even say like, I'm buying a up job shirt. interview. Huh? I'm on a job interview. This is self employed people ain't shit. This is how y'all think. Yeah, like I don't want to do that. I don't even own shoes. You know that? You actually have a lot of shoes. No, I have a lot of sneakers. Uh-oh. And specifically Jordans. Very, 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 very good sneaker collection. I know. I've I've heard about it. You've seen it. It's okay. Uh, yeah. It's okay. I've She's seen, seen it. I've seen the huge sneaker collection. That's like a couple hundred pairs. Mm-hmm. Let me you ask you a question. Do you want to talk more about your shoes? Do I want to? No, not yeah. really. You want know to talk about you sure? I think you like your shoes so much. I do. They're cool. They're like a huge part of... See what I mean, though? Like my, you have my, a look. I have a look. That's a, and, and your fan base feels comfortable enough to walk up to you and be like, oh, yeah, but you, you punch, right? Niggas will walk up trying to get is interviews. That? that is crazy. Is that, that's how you sound? Yo, it's punch, right? <laughs> Yo, this shit is crazy. <laughs> Niggas come, they whisper, yo, bro, that's Chanel Hart. Yeah, but, like, but then they'll DM ass. me. Then they'll DM me. Yeah, like, they don't say anything to How you. do I get into porn? Oh my God, I saw you earlier. <laughs> so I smelled weird. your ass. I, oh, think, I think that's They probably weird. smell the chair after you get up. That's weird. I hope not. What? I think it's more so weird that they don't say anything to me. I think it's weird when you guys don't say nothing to me. I think it's, I think it's okay to say hello versus like hit me up later on Instagram like... 
oh my God, I thought that was you. Like, bro, you knew that was me. Like, what do you mean you thought? <laughs> There's not a lot of like big booty black porn stars around with like the piercings that I have. Like, I So feel you're like, admitting that you have a big butt. It's medium. Yeah. <clears throat> Almost died. <clears throat> <laughs> Why? Because you have a really fat ass now. That's not, it's not a really fat ass. It is. I don't think it's a really fat ass. God, I stare at it when she sets up, when she bends over and puts her shit down. I see it many different angles. Oh, it's you, amazing. Are you bragging right now? You get Did I get to see you? You get to stare yeah. at Yeah, she was just naked walking around before it started. <sighs> <laughs> You're finally like, holy shit. Quit telling people. <laughs> see what I'm saying? She was just naked. She's in a bathroom going crazy. I'm just fucking. I was, I'm one of those naked bitches from Instagram. You are. Mm-hmm. But you're like really naked. They're like naked ish. You actually get naked. Like, mm-hmm. we've actually seen your and vagina. I partake. This is true. These are big facts. Mm. Big facts, big facts. I love it. Yeah, let me ask you a very random question. Random. So I'm hearing all of this stuff. I was in a conversation the other day. Mm-hmm. Well, I was, I'm lying. I just was looking at a conversation in a comment section on Instagram. Okay. And they were talking about like free fucks Mm -hmm. to where like you're in a relationship and then like you allow your partner to have like a free fuck. Is this cool? Where do you stand on this? (laughs) Do you mean like they get the fuck? Okay. Like let's be very specific. That means they get the fuck somebody like just be like on their own type yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely like, this is definitely like a solo, oh, you just get like a hall pass, a whole pass, a whole, whole pass, free fuck. Whole I mean, pass. that's cool. Oh, but does it? But does it go both ways? Or is it just women allowing men for this fuck? Or it's, can it's a woman the person go allowing out there? The person who wants the other person to have sex? Not okay. just because one does it doesn't mean the other one has to or wants to. Okay. Some women have actually completed their desires of other men. Okay, but my thing is this. Why would you then let your man go out there and sleep with someone else? Like, what is the point? Like, if you're fulfilled completely with him, then why is it that he still has things he needs to fulfill? Mm. Things well, he look, still needs if you to were do. With a man, if you were with a guy, uh-huh. I would like to assume uh-huh. that you've had more sex than he has in his life. Why would you assume that? That's not true. <laughs> you think I've had more sex than a lot of men? <laughs> Do you think you've had more sex than me? I don't know. Have I? Yo, this is crazy. It's a direct <laughs> question. You can't just answer it back. Um, no, I don't. You think I've had more sex than you? No, maybe we're just neck and neck. <laughs> okay, so I've had more sex. But what does that even matter, though? Like, does it matter the amount of sex somebody has had? Yeah, why would it not? What do you mean? We're talking about we're talking about free fucks here. I just I don't so agree with that. You have had it. more chances to get it out of your system than your male. Get it out of my system. Yes. Mm. So that's what those hall passes are for, so men can get it out of their system. What else would it be? Oh, like a fantasy moment. But you've had enough fantasies. Who is to say what is enough? Oh, so you want more? <laughs> you haven't had enough. No, no, no! Don't trap me! Don't trap me! <laughs> don't trap me! I'm just asking for clarity. Okay, okay. I don't believe in a hall pass unless it's like a mutual thing. Like, and like in this, like it would have to be structured as this thing. Like, okay, we're both going out Friday through Sunday. We won't talk to each other. Just go out, do whatever you're doing. I'm gonna do whatever I'm doing. See, that's and then crazy. I'll see you, Sunday. you just gotta fuck too. Like, why can't you just hold it? Why down? do I gotta fuck? anything why can't i just be like i don't want to talk to you after or before you fuck another bitch Mm, why is it that cool (laughs) i'm not gonna be at home i'm gonna be out with my homegirls i'm gonna go have fun yeah i didn't say i was gonna fuck anything (laughs) that's crazy like for one night a nigga hold it down a nigga can't just live i can't just live to either (laughs) you've lived that's not that's subjective You've lowercase L I V E capital D. You've lived. No, that's not true. There's still so many things I haven't done. I'm all ears for this. I have not what do you think been Chanel on a Hart tropical vacation and fucked. Okay? I haven't done that. So start a fund. This is what y'all gonna do. Right now, everybody cash up her all of the money that you have. <laughs> 
or at least money towards her her tropical trip. Yeah, so I can go have sex somewhere tropical and beautiful. But you live in LA, so like, what is the difference? Tropical, okay. I want fucking white sand, like soft sand. You have palm trees. You know what? You I live want, in LA. I like want, I, live, I want Caribbean water. I live in water, New York. Though. I live in New York, so like I have nothing close to Carib- like tropical or Caribbean. Like you could fake it. But you've been places. One or two. Yeah. I've traveled here and there. Okay then. Do you think I've had sex in a tropical setting? Mm, you haven't. Mm. I've done shows See, in the tropics. God, Jesus! Now he doesn't. Like you don't know. You don't know if you had sex in a tropical place or not. Yeah, it's so much groupies. It was crazy. Oh my God! Just bitches no like, way. What do you want, puppy? You think I have fucking groupies? Uh, okay, that is a fact. That's crazy. How do you know? Have I fucked any of your friends? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Next question. You know what? So, anyway, I think that I think that nobody should talk about having a hall pass unless unless it goes both ways. Hmm. Like, if it shouldn't be a hall pass, it should just be a freedom weekend. A freedom weekend for the men. No, why does it have to be for men? Like, nobody what is, really wants, like, like it's, seriously. Like, like you're like, like oh, because girls don't. In love with, if someone's in love with Chanel Hart, you got to understand, like, yo, listen, Chanel, you've had enough sex. We, it's our turn. I think for the so men. So then why would you go out there and request a hall pass? We if I did it. As much sex yet. But I am the lit bitch of sex. I am that bitch when it comes to sex. Are you, Are you kidding? Uh, I don't know. Have you this seen my is, movies? It's Your sex is pretty crazy. Exactly. So hall pass for what? Confused or what else is out there? Mm, can now they, I see it. So can, then you're like, your pussy is so elite, you should never want to fuck anything else. Yes. Pussy, but what if they just want to just fuck a you broke. in a yellow skin? Or like a darker skin? You know what? It's a real thing. I just, I hate it. I hate it. Okay, cool. I hate it. I thought it. I knocked over the power. I hate it. You hate what? I hate it. I don't want that. Okay. I don't want that. You believe in hall passes? Yes. Okay. Because so men how does, should how get does a it hall. work? Like, like a you man should be like, you should be like, month. you know what? You're a great man. Go and fuck a girl if you want. Shit. You do everything else. I just don't. I just don't like it though. You're because just, then, you're not supposed no, to be because women can't do it, and you guys don't want us to do it. No, you can do it. You just should not want to. Why? You shouldn't want to either. The dick should... Oh my God, are you kidding me? Let me ask you another question. At what point is is it, like, cool to, like... Are you supposed to eventually give your partner, right like, f- phone access? Phone access? Yes. Phone access. Do they pay the bill? Let's say they do. They can see the phone. If he pays the bill, he gets the password. Why not? He does not pay the bill. Can I get the password? Mm-mm. This is fucking <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Yo. So it's basically a $250 <laughs> fee a month to just make sure you're not cheating. Why do you got to go through my phone and make sure I'm not cheating? Like that's, that's not even crazy. trust in a relationship though. So let me get this right. I mean... It should cost two hundred. Nobody should go month. around looking in everybody's phone. Nobody Not everybody. They're, do that. They're, 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 they're like their partner. If I did that, I just want a whole new phone, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I need a whole new phone. Like I don't want nothing. Like like if my partner was gonna look at my phone, everything has to go. No more pictures. No more messages. No more DMs. Like everything would have to be erased. Because if not, anything could start an issue. Anything. That's crazy. Old pictures. You'd be like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, like, why do you still have old pictures? You shouldn't delete. I have like 1,300 pictures on my phone. What does that exactly mean? That I never sat down to delete anything. I even have like duplicates of stuff that I've never sat down to delete. That's crazy. Yeah. Are you supposed to like keep your ex's stuff in there? Hmm. I don't know. Are you? What do you think? Do you I keep th- pictures of your ex? Or do you like delete them like soon as it's over? Hmm. Or do you go to their page and screenshot them? <laughs> ah, that's fucking. That's stalking. Stalking is a real thing, by the way. Yeah, I believe it. You have to be proud of your stalking. Have you, have you stalked before? Stalking is a very large umbrella. I feel like I've had Explain very. I've yourself. done variations of stalking. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think everyone's done variations. Hmm. I think stalking is like looking when that person doesn't think you're looking. Oh. And you're looking like deeply. Because hmm. if you're just looking and they don't know that's lurking, which is a part of stalking. The stalking is, is acquiring multiple avenues of the information. You know so what though? Men is are a- so sneaky though. Men are sneaky. Like even your explanation of this whole umbrella of stalking yeah. just goes to show like men are so sneaky. Do you know I have no, like I don't know about none of that. You don't lurk? Mm. Oh, so you're I doing clicked partial, around. You're like partially stalking. Lurking is a part of stalking. I just, I, I tap around. I, I tap around. I want to know what some of my old bitches are doing all the time. Mm. I'd be like, hmm. If I have a good week, I get curious. I'm like, why is it on a good week? Because that's when I feel like really confident. Oh, okay. And I'm like, oh shit, my shit is viral this week. Yeah. I'm on like every website, bitch. So did you answer the question though? Have you, do you keep your ex's pictures? Keep ex's pictures. Like, um, like in your I think phone. It, I think it depends on kind of like how, what ended. I think it's very easy to get over your ex if y'all beefed. Mm. Like, because if y'all beefed, then it's like, fuck that bitch. Right. My man, it's fuck easy. that nigga. He's trash. Wow. What? Don't dog niggas on this podcast. Like, men are like people, too. I just wanted to remind you of that. Thanks. Because I had no idea you guys bled and, you know, were human beings with oh, two eyes and two nose. I didn't know nose. what type of bleeding you were talking about. <laughs> Your titties definitely um, about a bump more to fall out. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it down. Um, I um I still have photos of my ex on my phone. Why? I just never got around to deleting them. I know it's just such an overwhelming life for you. No, I mean, hmm. like things weren't like Uh-oh. like things are bad when it ended, like the last initial like meeting and stuff. But when I think about the relationship overall, it's not like. I hate you so much. I never want to see your face again. Delete, delete, delete. So you just have it just in case you miss him. No, I think they're just memories. And it was a part of my life and a chapter of my life. Mm, my son got bars. She's ready. Guys, never your life wife up to no heart. She'll like drive you nuts and make you That's go not crazy. true. That's not true. You think you're a good girlfriend? You think niggas should wife you? Maybe we should ask my ex. What, are we going to fucking call him? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Should we? Yeah. To be like, yo, bro. <laughs> How was I? Was that a good girlfriend? That's crazy. <laughs> He'd be like, uh, you was cool, but you get in Chanel mode. What's Chanel mode? Tell us about it. Let's learn. Yeah, this is your... I'm a little embarrassed about Chanel mode. Like, Chanel mode was, like, different, like, because I wasn't used to having a boyfriend. So what does that mean? So, like, I would just, like, act up, you know? like No. <laughs> I gotta explain myself. The only myself. act up I know is City Girls. Mm. Okay, so uh, Chanel mode, mm-hmm. which my ex used to say, he's like, oh, I guess you're getting in Chanel mode, is uh, when I get very uh, dismissive and I get very like, like I just, I get kind of bratty, like, yo, just leave me alone type of shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I just be stopping him. Like, he starts complaining. I'm like, oh my God, like, what are you even complaining for? Like, and I'm just like dismissing his feelings. Oh, so you're just like a rude, self centered person. Is that what it is? Occasionally. That's terrible. Why? We all have our flaws, punch. Look, I'm listening to you. What are your flaws? No, no, no. Let's continue Chanel mode. This is quite interesting. <laughs> Chanel mode is... um. Pound sign Chanel mode in comments and everything. Yeah. That's going to be good. I when think your bitch sign. acting up, hashtag Chanel mode. Chanel Oh, it's like out of yeah. control like that? I mean, I talk back and I get like... I get a little like... I just get rude, kind of. Like, get rude. Yeah. Like, like, we've been to parties together and... um. <clears throat> like I flirted with other like men kind of that's pretty fucking harsh it is it is I'm not saying I was a good person <laughs> you actually did you actually I'm said saying you I was an okay girlfriend like I was that's like that's not okay at what okay point is but okay? listen it's different for me though why because I She's am flirting with niggas wow you didn't get fucked up that's crazy. I don't no. like advocate domestic violence. Let me not say that. Yeah. You didn't what do you get mean? fucked Did up get in fucked the up? argument? No. No. Um, he kind of, like, I seen him kind of watch me from the corner of my eyes. So I eased up a little bit. I was like, oh, shit. I need to chill. But mostly it's like whenever I get drunk and stuff and I'm like in that mood, I'm very flirty just with people in general. Yeah. You know, I even flirt with women like that. I'll be I don't like, think oh my that, God, that people so would be cute. that mad at women. What do you mean? Yeah, of course. There are guys that would be that. Of course, but there I'm telling you. Be, my, some niggas are nuts. But my personality in general 
is like that. It's flirty. Yeah, I'm very flirty. I but meet like how people. Flirty? Like, like, like flirty, I smile like, hey, at up. people. Or I'll be like, be like, hey. No, I'll be like, I'll be like, oh my god, your beard. Oh my god, your beard is you so. You touch cute. a nigga's faces. That, that oh was, shit! That You're was part of the argument. He Are was like, he was so mad. Oh you my god! Face? I'm so sorry for ever doing that to him, though, because that was not cool. Like literally, that That's was not cool. Mega. Like that okay, just blew my mind. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Violated. You I, feel for him for my ex? I don't, really, I don't know. This okay, so listen, it wasn't. I feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mark. Yo, she said the nigga's name. This is crazy. Is that bad? Pounds on that nigga. <laughs> Shut up. Gonna, they, listen, you said it. Yo, this is wild crazy. Yeah. I mean, he was like, he, I remember him spazzing him being like, oh, so you just, you just gonna be touching niggas' beards and shit? And I was like, I was like, I mean, I didn't know, like, it wasn't that serious. Well, you like, been like, it was a mad good beard. And what, yo, this is fucking cr- yo. Your ice cold. <laughs> I'm not cold. I'm just admitting. It How does someone nice like beard. love you? I think you gotta love me for who I am. You would have to really accept those things. And you about might just me. grab a nigga's beard. I d- I'm not gonna do stuff like that no more. You guys, lesson has been learned. She's okay. Grown up. She's grown First up. First of all, I guys, wouldn't even. She's if, grown up. Like after that relationship, you start to learn lessons and you start to kind of see. She's grown up. The growth. No, you do. You grow from shit like that. You'd be like, oh my God, like that was not cool. Oh my God, I hurt somebody that cares about me. Yeah, you me. probably like destroyed a, a whole man. That's terrible. Mm, That's no, what you're doing I out there. I think he would want me back, but Pounce I don't on Chanel think mode. he's destroyed. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that he wants you back because you were a good girl. That just means he wants you back because you have moves. We've all seen it. Wow. So you're saying he wants me back because I got good sex? I don't think that there's any man in the world that would fuck you and not want you back just solely off of your whole, well, your moves. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah, because penis is a mind of its own. And to really, really think. That's really sad. It, it, it's fucking crazy. It's extremely sad. I'm telling you, it is. You got to have your own brain. I'm just watching the timer, world. guys, if you don't want to know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. Do you want to? No, I'm, 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 I'm getting to the timer in a second, but I just really want to just get to the point of where you're like, Yo, straight up and down. What? It'd be very difficult to leave you. To leave me. If someone fucked you, like mm-hmm. really got a chance to fuck you, and I got you know how difficult it would be back. to. Yo, it gets so spicy when she wants to. <laughs> it would be very difficult to leave you. How am I supposed to respond to that? I don't know. Like, stop fucking niggas no. the way that you do. No, never. I want to snatch souls. I'm the soul keeper. So you're like into like soul snatching. I'm the soul keeper. You know what soul snatching is? I love it. Like the, my favorite thing is hearing a man moan. It's like so cool. I'm like, ugh, bitch. So you're into soul snatching? Yes. Are we sure what the definition is? <sighs> you can feel it leaving his body. It's when he's laying there and he feels kind of limp. And kind of days like he doesn't know what's happening. Like soul snatching specifically is supposed to be like you're nutting and the girl is sucking and she doesn't stop. Like literally pulls the come out of your dick. Hmm. I think I've Along done that. Along with your soul. I think I've done that. Yo, she looks me so dead in my eyes when she says really nasty shit. I don't know what the fuck to do. Because I think I've, I've done that. But I don't know. You guys tell me. <laughs> You know we spoke about earlier, okay, guys, number one. First of all, mm. while she was walking around naked. Gotta get the visual. She was walking around fucking naked with her ass out. And she was bending over, just picking up shit. I was throwing mad at her shit on the floor when she wasn't looking on purpose to just watch her bend over. Mm. Creep. Continue. I'm looking at your asshole. <sighs> I just, that's crazy. What if yeah. I was really doing that? Staring at my asshole and like, or pushing shit over because I think you do both. Pushing shit over I to think you then do look both. at your ass and stare at your ass. Oh my God. That, I think a lot of guys do shit like that. That would be crazy. If y'all had an opportunity to just walk around the house and just see Chanel every day. Like, and just literally be like, oh yeah, we're doing work. We're going to have a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just pop up. Because that's how you got here then, early. Then, then you pop up. Then you pop up. You pop up unexpected so that she's undressed. And she'll answer the door naked. I do. This is very true. That's kind of scary, though. I don't know if I should admit that to people. Like what? That I answered the door naked. They don't know where you live. Yeah, well, Some of these niggas is big stalkers, though. Ooh. 
They'll mm-hmm. be like, where's that sound in the background coming from? <laughs> That's crazy, right? They're like, yeah, they hit a horn. They're yeah. Like, yeah, that horn goes off at 10 o'clock by the water, <laughs> by the docks. So listen, let's get straight to it. What's up? All right. How are these fans going to get to fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all want to know. That's they why they're really all here. No, people do want to know how they can fuck. They're like, so what do I got to do? How do I... Look, yo, my favorite thing is, how do I book you? I'm like, bro, this is not how porn works. Like, you can't just book me. They start okay? on the website. <laughs> but they start on the website. Let them start their website. You're just going to be the only video. And they're going to be the Even only Even if you're starting a website and you are, like, venturing out on this porn company shit, it's like, you don't call the performer directly. I have a fucking agent, Okay. They are the ones who clear that. They are the ones who you talk to. So you don't you don't get. So the they like me. security check the niggas. Uh yeah. Oh, Rep- no, it's more like a reputation type of check. So you how know the fuck I mean? do you get in? Like if nobody knows you, you gotta make sure people know you. You it can't probably just... be way more. It probably just cost like ten thousand. No, you have like, to 10, actually to make smell Chanel's asshole. Wait, what? That's crazy. She liked the idea of that. I do like that. If niggas was like, I'll give you 10 minutes to smell your asshole. I would totally let them. Like, smell it. Yeah, inhale Yo, why are niggas so nasty? You know this farting porn? I love it. Yeah, I love that you guys are nasty. No. I'm happy, son. No, I'm happy you you. didn't do farting porn. Thank you. I did something else weird, though. I did, like, an underarm fetish thing. What? Where I let somebody smell my underarms and, like, lick them. Lick your underarm? It's you had deodorant on? No. Oh, because that would be mad chalky. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't nasty enough, a nigga licking chalk? <laughs> yeah. That's mad. It's like anti You know he's accidentally gotten deodorant in his mouth before. <laughs> nah. I'm just thinking about what the fuck could happen. That's just crazy. Yo, that's not yeah, good. It's okay. So nigga smelled your armpit and licked it. Mm-hmm. Just like... Like inhaling it, they're like... Like, do you like that shit? No, I don't like it. So, so niggas have done some nasty shit to you that you were just like, oh god, where's uh, the, the check is in the envelope? Yes, absolutely. Hmm. I mean, it's the truth. Everything you do, like every time you go to work, is not a good day. Okay, some days you go to work. And, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, some days you go to work and it's a shitty day. Some days you go to work and you just, uh, I gotta go to work. But some days you're like. Man, I'm happy as hell. I got a job. Thank God I don't know. I have sometimes a job. porn looks crazy though, because sometimes porn just be looking like they just hire like the random old white guy. It's supposed that's, to like, look like that though. Why? It's supposed to look raunchy. Like there's not a, like a lot of pretty porn. You know what I mean? And some people don't even like that. Like the aspect of it being unrealistically hot people fucking in a beautiful house, and she's her makeup's all done. Like some people don't like that. It's very too much like commercial. Really? Yeah. There's a know. market I fuck for mad everything. Bad bitches. It's a lot like. Oh, so all your bitches just be made up, ready, TTG, just whoop, whoop, I'm ready to fuck, punch. Some of my bitches be like that, man. Don't sleep. That's ridiculous. Don't sleep. That sounds like a lot of work. First of all, I'm big fucking popping out here. First of all, niggas don't even be looking at your face when you fucking. What you mean? <laughs> Niggas don't really be like looking at y'all face. Like y'all don't really be like. You mean niggas like, don't look at the girl face? Not uh, not all the time. Not unless they care about that person and like they love them. Really? I yeah. Don't know. If you fuck bad bitches, you gonna look at them. Their ass and their titties and her mouth. Crazy. But you gonna look at everything good about any bitch though as you're fucking them. Mm-hmm. You gonna be like, bitches. she's a seven, but damn, her lips is so thick. Oh my god, uh, her titties is so fat. Like you know, her ass. <clears throat> Titties is... This, you tell them, subscribe titties? You, you tell them titties? It depends. Everybody's different. Yeah. Some of these niggas is mad nasty. Well, I think that a lot of guys just... I think you zone in. Okay, so like, whenever I'm shooting, regardless of how the person looks or whatever, I try to find one thing I like about that person and then I just zoom in from there. That's crazy. Because I've seen you fuck some awkward looking people. Me? Mm. Yeah. Google's a dangerous But we all thing. can't fuck bad bitches. We all you not. could fuck bad bitches all day long. Actually, you really could. You're a bad bitch. You could fuck bad bitches. You just like go to set and like fuck old white guys. They're not old. Some of them niggas be. Some of them niggas I've been seeing them niggas since high school. I'd be like, yo, bro, how long are you fucking, bro? Go home, son. Yeah. Some of these niggas I'd be like, yo, you fuck too much. Go home. No. Because I see job. the girl. You see they the girl you seniority. like. You see the girl you like, and you like, damn, you letting this old nigga fuck you. 
God. hurt your heart. He probably been fucking for a long time, too. I know. That shit gets he me tight. probably slinging you know dick. Get, whoa. It just get me tight. I see some niggas, I be like, this nigga just get the fuck all the pussy. Get in a porn punch, and then maybe you could fuck all the pussy, too. I don't want to fuck all the pussy, though. Okay. I'm stingy with my dick. Now, like, I got some status and clout. <laughs> you think I'm fucking trash, bitches? Big fucking bugging. 100K pussy only. 100K and up. Yeah, or it got to be like a throwback, John. That's like, well, she deserves to oh, be Oh, we here. got 16K right now. So, I guess you're not getting dick from me, bro. Oh, man. I just thought I was so close. Well, you got deleted at a quarter million. So, it's like we round you up. Quarter million is 16. You had like 100 something K. I'll bust you down. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to bust you down. I'm going to tell you how it is next episode. Oh. She's so naked. Like, are you going to tell everybody how good it was? How wet your pussy was? Mm. Stop fucking talking like it's fucking phone sex. Oh, you like that? Hmm? You that like shit is that? crazy. I'm trying to Do focus on like the show. you like that punch? You like how wet my fucking mouth is? Hmm? Does that make your dick hard? I hope it makes your dick hard. Yo, you're not, you should do phone sex. Do they still do phone sex? Yes. Really? Yeah, people ask me to do phone sex all the time. So do that shit. I was about to give you five dollars. <laughs> like I was literally about if I was like if this spit like left your mouth, I was gonna give you five dollars. No, see at least huh? No, I don't. But I'm just saying I was gonna give you five dollars. Keep it in your mouth. Okay. Oh my god, guys, I didn't get to touch her this time. Your heart butt is so big. Yeah, don't even Can you see it? it? Yes. I feel it's, like it's hiding. It's the softest. Ad- yes, this hand. Oh, see, look at that. He smelt it first. I don't know. I didn't know what else to do. Mm. Smell. That was like your ass cheek. What else you want if your ass touch? cheek had a smell, that'd be scary. What else you want to touch? You want to put your hands in my pants? That'd be fucking crazy. I think we get flagged. Oh shit. Would we get flagged for that? I think. So. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should just try to find out. I would do it, <laughs> and then we'd black out the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. Then we couldn't get flagged. Then YouTube would have to guess. So what can I grab? What can this hand grab? Hold on. Don't come out of the frame. I'm not. I'm not. I'm staying here. Oh, my God. I'm going to get to grab something. This is crazy. Oh, my God. This is a titty. I wonder. I don't want YouTube to get it. This is what I'm going to do. This is not going to go on YouTube, but I'm going to put it on my gram. Can I put this on my gram? They probably flag me, too. You have permission. Oh, my God. That's a whole titty. You want to go somewhere else? You want to just touch the pussy? Touch your pussy? It's your pussy? Are you touching your pussy? Yeah, I'm touching my pussy. I think we're going to get flagged for this. I love my pussy. I touch I my pussy. If it, YouTube, will you flag us if she touches her pussy? It's mine. How's it smell? Yeah, you tell me. Yo, this is crazy. Like nothing. Dove. Like dove or like... Like I don't the smell white soap anything. is dove. Dove is white soap. Yeah, I think white it's dove. Yeah, Yo, your pussy. This is crazy. I just smell Chanel's pussy. I don't smell anything. Yeah, I believe I. You know, pussy you know, shouldn't smell like you know everybody. Though. You know, there's mad people in the comments that think that we have like crazy sex. Do they? You guys think we have crazy sex? That'd be crazy. That would be so wild. Like if we fuck every day. <sighs> crazy, and then right? They'd be like, yo, I wonder if they fucking. Once a day? Does he like fuck her? Like, what kind of, like, what would, like, it would be crazy. They probably wonder if I get to, like, face fuck you. Hmm. Crazy shit. That would be awesome, though. I do enjoy being face fucked. Oh, my God. Can I ask you another question? Why do you gotta question me like it's an interview? Button? No, because you just have all the fucking answers. You don't ask me shit. So, let's start there. Yo, how... How do we get, like, another girl in the bedroom? Like, how is the right way to go about getting a threesome? This is the most toughest question in the fucking world. Is it? Yeah. Like, how do you go about getting a threesome? It depends, though. Like, is the situation, like, you're dating someone? Let's, let's, let's start with, let's start with this, your girlfriend. Let her, have, let her take the will. What the fuck, son? Then it's never going to happen. No, but she should choose the girl. You just have to be a little bit like dominant about her doing it and making it happen. But if she agrees to a threesome, then she should be the one choosing the bitch. This is crazy. What is that? <laughs> Why is it that? Like, because you know what bitches you want to fuck. <laughs> Shit. And your woman don't know you well enough to know what bitches you want to fuck. Depends what kind of girls. Some of these girls are jealous. You can't be like, yo, that bitch over there, I want to fuck. She's like, oh really? Oh really? 
Oh, really? Well, then that's the type of woman that doesn't need to be in a threesome with you, son. Mm. Why would you? Why would she be in a threesome with you? What what points are are we going to add to our threesome? This is going to be so good to hear this. Hmm, I don't know. Like, who would we ask? Tell me, just come on. You know, my me. favorite girls is like Misty Stone. To fuck Misty Stone is a lot of work. Have you Think seen so? Misty? She's hyper as shit when she fucks. Mm-hmm. Misty does not have slow sex. No. She's like ping, 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 and she's slim. She's jumping around. She's going to want me to pick her up. <laughs> this is a real thing. Yeah. Like, fucking Misty, I like. It's a whole activity. A whole activity? A whole activity. Wait, a whole or a whole? A whole activity. Oh, a whole. I thought it was a whole activity. I was like, maybe. <laughs> that too. It's a whole activity and a whole activity. But to, no, to like... To fuck Misty Stone is a lot of work. Yeah, but I like women like that. That are like energized Hyper. and like, no, enthusiastic. Enthusiastic about the dick. Yes. Are you enthusiastic about the dick? Yes. Yo, look at the way you smile. That is a horny girl. <laughs> I am horny a lot. Seriously. Yeah. A lot of people thought you were horny on the very first episode. People were like, yo, she's super horny and like drunk and worked up. But now I'm just sipping like You licked me on the first episode. I'll do it again. You will not lick me again. What are you gonna lick? Put your finger My finger? No. I'm gonna leave it here when you're ready to put it in your own do mouth. It. Well you're gonna really put it in your mouth? This is I think we're gonna have to blip. Oh, you giving me the middle finger? I don't know what. Yeah, what in the? This is. I'm not thinking about my finger anymore. Of course not. You're not supposed to be thinking about your finger anymore. What's your? What's your now you, where you gonna put your finger at? In your ass. Dirty girl. I'm just fucking around. Yo, y'all out of control, and she agrees. God, they're gonna Listen, really think I'm that we're fucking very, every minute. I'm a day. very, I'm a woman who's just very comfortable with her sexuality. So this same finger that just went in your mouth can go in your ass, yeah. and then back in your mouth. Make it wetter, yes. Oh my god, it's my ass. Them niggas will cash up you right now. They should. Yo, cash up her money. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make her. Can we make a? New, we're gonna make a new cash app. We're going to put the logo on it. You don't even have to say it because okay. you're going to make a new cash app to see how much money are you actually getting directly from Homebody. I think somebody should pay me to do stuff. Like what? What are they paying you to do? Like when they're in your DM, like what are they asking you for? I mean like people have, like I pay, like I let people pay me for Skype shows, for selfies, for like, for like nasty pictures and like videos. I like nasty though. Hmm. I just want to know. My, my imagination is not that creative. Mm, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I do videos for people. Like, I do three-minute videos, and I charge, like, something cheap. Three, some. Three. Three-minute three minute videos. You should do videos with Misty Stone. And then I take toys, and I stick them in my asshole, and, like, spin them around, and I fuck myself with them a little bit. And then I talk really dirty to the camera, because guys love when you talk dirty to them. Really? Like, yeah. Fucking love that shit. I do. Men do. Don't tell me what I love. You don't like when girls talk dirty. Have you fucked quiet bitches recently? <laughs> Some quiet fucks. Yes. Quiet fucks isn't lit. No, that's horrible. It's the boringest shit ever. I talk a lot of shit. I think. You do. What type I'm of things do you speaker. say? I'm like, come on, bitch. You can do better than that. Come on, man. I believe in you. You see what I be doing? Oh, so you're encouraging them. I'm encouraging I'm like, yo, you can do better than that. You better go get your shit, baby. This whole dick is here. Go work for it. It's yours. Come on, baby. (laughs) You got to inspire. Inspire. I love it. He inspires greatness wherever he goes. Yo, you got to inspire these girls to just like, come on, do their thing. Okay. Inspire like, yo, you could do better than that, baby. You going to let your homegirl do better than you? already doing good? Then what do you say? You didn't hear me see good. What? I so said, you going to let your homegirl do better than you? Ha! <laughs> ha! Because he like fucking homegirls. Yo, does that, would that get you mad? You do that. Would that get you mad? Yeah. If you were fucking a guy and he was just like, yo, your homegirl, like, and you just later found that he fucked your homegirl, would that bother you? He just told me he fucked my homegirl? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? Nigga, yeah, because I wouldn't even fuck with you. You fuck one of my bitches. Huh. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't bang like that. You fuck one of my homegirls, I'm good. 
Not unless this bitch call me and she wanna all tango or something. Then we. Oh, can't. so if the right bitch calls you, she you could just join in. Yeah. Oh my god. I wear porn stars. I have porn star friends. Who's just like, yo? I need you to come help at this with this fuck. Yeah. What? So like you could like call in. What is this like a like a, a the whole line? No, you just gotta have certain relationships with certain friends. You know, so be like y'all, I really need you to pull up. I need help. So I can just Not go. even like you don't say it like that. Like you're making this sound like an emergency phone call. Like, like yo, a, I need help. There's a dick here. I can't and we need do it help. about myself. <laughs> no, but like if you came over to home, we'd be like, yo, I'm kicking it with my dude tonight. Like I was, we was wondering if you can come over and kick it with us too. What the fuck? And then like my homegirls are fun like that. Like my close close home. They see my life. They know your home. Oh, uh, yeah. My close homegirls, they'll come through. They'll drink, we'll talk, we'll bust it up, and then we'll just start sucking the sucking dick, dick together. I'm not leaving the country. And then we share it. And then we go back and forth and we put dick in her mouth. And Are we calling any points our friends tonight? You're not my nigga. I'll put you on the internet, though. Oh, my God. Not like my whole vagina is on the internet already. But now they get to hear you. This should come. They do to get them. to hear me. They get to hear me come all the time. They get to hear me come all the fucking time. You're so programmed with your nastiness. I know. It's very hard to get out of it. Anytime a camera gets on me, instant slut. Instant. Like people are recording Snapchat and I just go. Like something nasty always happens, you know? And I noticed me and my, all my friends kind of do it though. Like, when we Snapchat and stuff together, we'll look at each other all sexy, and then we'll, like, kiss. It's very weird. Very weird. Hmm. But, yeah, sluttiness is, like, you know what's, like, embedded in me? What? I'm, like, dripping whore. Yeah, that's your, your shit you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, for your spit fetish thing? Yeah. You have a spit fetish. I do. You just spit on a lot of things. I like it. So, like, yeah. you love to, like, spit in men's mouth and girls' mouths. So you'll like if a like you'll take a nigga and I girl. like my mouth spinning too. Oh my god, you're out of control. I think Chanel is out of control officially. The right person gets me under control though. They not no pussy boy. Not no pussy boy. Mm-hmm. The right person. Hold on. The right guy can get me under control. You like the, this control shit? Like what kind of control are we talking about? Like a nigga like a belt around your neck. Oh my god, that I sounds like really death. That, yeah, that sounds like death. We went from spinning in mouths to a belt around the throat. That's kind of sick. A belt around your... Th- huh? What if somebody just wanted you to like put a, a belt around your neck and like walk around like with a leash? That's pretty crazy. I mean, why a belt though? Why can't I just walk around with a leash? Wow. Like the belt just seems so close But it's to not. Death. It's just really like a collar. That's oh, yeah. crazy. I don't know. I saw it on the internet the other day and so I was just fresh on my it's mind. It's just a leash. A leash. Hmm. This is. Why, does that sound appealing? I think it does. You think it does? So you would. If there was just mad bad bitches crawling around with chains around their necks, whoa. Whoa, what? Like whoa, lit. Like what do you want to do to those bad? Bitches I don't know at yet. That point? But just to watch like three or four of them just crawling around, what the fuck? What if they all have fat asses and it's like in the air? Overwhelming. Oh, so they're crawling around like cats, they're just like ass up. <sighs> Meow? I don't really want the meow, <laughs> but their ass could be in the air crawling around. The, me- the meow is not a part of my package. Oh, okay. You can crawl around, though. Crawl around like a dirty little slut. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm sorry. I can't help it. She has like Pacey. Can you show? Does she have Pacey's? Can I show the Pacey? I feel I like the Pacey's. I think you can show them. I'll show you. Let's see, Pink. I think you show Pacey's. Pacey's is, oh, that's that's how you said it. If it can't go, we're definitely putting this on Instagram. Let them niggas flag me. Let me just suck my dick. That's too much titty. Didn't we see like somebody like sucking dick on YouTube or some crazy yeah, shit? Yeah, a girl sucking dick on live. And her Instagram is still active, you guys. I know. I don't want to talk about Instagrams because then it feels bad for you. All right, guys, I'm trying to get Chanel Hart's Instagram back. So if you work for Facebook or know anybody at Instagram... Um, hit us directly and Chanel will send you mad nasty videos if you help get her page back. And I really mean that. Like, I will make sure that she, like, spits on something really large for you. Not like, not like your actual oh dick. Oh my God. Like, I'm not, like, trading your, 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 like, mouth for Instagram back on. But you can definitely see her, like, shove a dildo or something somewhere. Hmm. Can they? 
They can choose. If they get your Instagram back, you can choose. Listen, you can literally have options, okay? I'll send you whatever you want. You get that IG back. That's crazy. Full, like mad I'll mouth. send like a full like 10 minutes just... <laughs> dripping whore. Just mad. Yo, you're, you're kind of out of control. Hmm. Yo, what kind of music do you like to have sex to? Depends on my... You give off like you like to have sex to Waka Flocka. Fuck you. Oh my God, that sounds so intense. What you mean? I got a whole lot of money. Yeah, that's how you fuck. It's kind of funny. What happened to you, sir? That started <laughs> to like work you up. No, I actually like fucking to like um like softer music though. Like the dream. Oh my God. Dream? Yes. So if I played the dream Lemon right now, lean? would you like take off your clothes? Yes. Oh. Falsetto? I'll be just sh- Falsetto? Falsetto. Guys, I'm going to play mad falsetto after this. Mm-hmm. Like, do you know how crazy it is? Now the next time I He's play scared. falsetto... It's going to be like, you're going to be like, he wants his pussy. You're going to Like, he wants this pussy. Play my song. I'm going to play falsetto. Hmm? She all like we had a bunch of porn stars in the house the other day. Like, this is what I need to know. Who is the next porn stars that you're going to have at the next live that we have? Oh, we should go live with Misty tomorrow for sure. Oh, my God. Yeah. She keep talking about she handicapped though, cause it's funny as fuck. She be feeling herself real cute, and she's like, "Cause it don't matter, I'm handicapped." <laughs> her hands work, so her she hands could like work. pull out her pussy. Oh yeah, and her mouth works too. Oh my god. Yeah, Do maybe I'll is- have her shoot some stuff for um, dripping whore, like some type of oral fetish type. Oh, you of could, thing. you could, like she's handicapped, but she, you could definitely sit on her face. Yeah, I don't love sitting on faces. It's it's. I know my a, ass is just out of so curiosity, big. Is this porn for you? <laughs> like what the fuck? Bro? I should be enjoying it though. I'm porn the one is doing not it. for you. <laughs> I should be if I'm Guys, doing it. Can I direct it? I should feel good about I'm it. I'm gonna start directing all of Chanel's porn. Chanel, you think you have a porno eye? I have seen. Everyone I've thinks seen they too can much do it. Porn. Oh, have you? What, what categories do you click on? What's your categories? My, my first category I click on? Yeah. Chanel Hart. Don't be lying. <laughs> Tell us the truth. We all want to know the truth. That is so crazy. Which, That's the first category I go on every day. It's not a category. You have to put me in a search engine. Oh, it's not a category. Oh, then who goes to the category? You got to search. That's when you would type your category. Like, I go to categories. Oh, I go to Chanel Hart. And so you would just watch only my porn. Yeah, I had to stop though. I didn't like it. I started to get very, very angry at you. I was like, what is my. How did it make you feel? I was going to break the fucking computer. And how did that make you feel about me? Hey, I, I don't know. I said, I was going to cancel Man, Homebody today. Listen, be careful. I was going to really cancel Be homebody careful today. with the men you like close, okay? Yeah, yeah. Because I was going like, to delete this whole podcast. You today. wanted to break your phone? I was like, this is what the fuck you're doing when we're, like, when we're not working? And I was totally going to be done with you. Like this whole shit. We was going to do Homebody Part 2. I was going to find a new girl. That was part of the, the uh, church you choir. you replace me? Yeah, church choir girl. Because you're out of fucking control. Oh, go ahead and have a boring ass podcast with your church girl then. Church girls have sex? Oh, they're husband. boring. Mm-hmm. Boring their bitches. Husband. Yep. Why does that Never. make them boring? They only suck their husband's dick, huh? One dick their whole life. So you just want to just Boring. Keep... Yo, one dick boring. is enough for Boring. No, it's not. How many dicks do you want? I want my whole life more than one. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. No, it's not. That's ridiculous. Oh my God. L- please, ladies, at least have like fucking three dicks before you settle on three? one. Yeah, at least let it be option A, B, or C and then you settle How somewhere. How many dicks did you have before you settled? That's crazy. No idea. My life is different. That's no idea. That's crazy. I have an idea. You do? I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. It's too many? Hmm. Quote, quote. Too That's many. crazy. All right, let me ask this question. Safe no. question. <laughs> it's a safe question. <laughs> what? How many women do you feel like you fucked in your life? Women. And we're going to leave this at that one. But I want to know how many women do you feel like you fucked? I've probably fucked about... 75 women? Holy shit. Seen a lot of different vaginas. Lots and lots of different vaginas. And you feel like you fuck more men than women? Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I fuck more men than women. 
Hmm. Oh, this is how you trap me into the question. She's like, uh huh. So let's start with the women and get her all loosened up. Okay, so yeah, I probably, I probably, maybe like a hundred. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. This is crazy. I have fucked like at least seventy five women. Different pussies, different. You think a, a normal? You think a normal? You think you'd be with a normal guy? Yeah, you I do? actually like normal guys a lot though, because they're not like always requiring for me to be like Chanel Hart all the time. A lot of like normal guys, like they're always like, "No, I just want to get to know you for who you are. Like, you don't have to do all that. Like, they just make me do feel, all what? Like, like I don't have to be a porn star for them all the time, so I could just be myself. Like, what is that? What does the porn star should mean? Like, what? Like. Like like, what? You, like like usually you have like, different types of dick suck. No, like yeah. First of all, yes. Depending on what type of guy I'm with, oh my god. Like like if a guy's kind of basic, do not you know like you don't have to suck his dick like like amazingly. You know what I mean? Because he's still kind of just like cool with just you doing a decent job. Hmm. But a lit nigga, different scenario. You better suck the dick like it matters to you. Better wow. look at it like you love it and everything because he's. He lives a different lifestyle. Wow. What's a lit nigga? Oh, yeah, we went over this last time. We did. We talked about wow. lit versus not lit. So. so I was a lit nigga. So then if you would have to put a lot of effort. Yes. Sucking, sucking. Oh, my God. Hopping on the dick all the time just so I can make sure you're, like, completely satisfied. I mean, I would have to. I don't need my nigga trying to get hall passes and shit. That's a fucking almost fact. Yeah, I don't need my nigga trying to do that though, cause I'll bring bitches if we gonna fuck bitches. Are we gonna? Are you? Why you don't just bring mad bitches to this at all times? You're not my nigga. Mm. You see, they always want boyfriend privileges. They don't want to do the work. First of all, like niggas would be a boyfriend right now if you got bitches right now. Hmm. I'd be a boyfriend right now. <laughs> if I brought bitches right now. Yeah, listen. That's not how none of this works. What do you mean? I ain't a boyfriend right now. Why are you baby? matching me? What's wrong with you? <clears throat> I'm a boyfriend right now. Call him right now. Call him right now. Yeah, I want to see it. You don't love me. I don't what? You don't love me. Listen, depending on which girl you can no, call. No, I want a nigga to love me first before I just start bringing hoes <laughs> into my situation. I need a nigga to love me first. Do your homegirls get offended that you call them hoes? No. Oh, because all y'all hoes? Yeah. This is fucking crazy, son. They're like, you hoe, bitch. What are you doing? Uh, like, we talk like so that. So, you be like, yo, bitch, I'm sucking dick. I got to call you back. I literally had my homegirl tell me. I said, yo, you want to come out tonight? Go to this mansion party? This bitch said, nah, I think I'm going to get DP tonight. Like, I don't think I'm going to go to the party. I'm like, I looked at my phone like, so you're not going to come to the party with me? And that me? wasn't work. Oh, no, it was not work. It was just a Friday night in L.A. And then I said that too. I said, you just going to get DP just because? She's like, yeah, I just kind of want to do it. So I'm going to just invite these two guys over. It's like some guy I know and his friend. Yeah. True stories. Confessions. Was it a white or black girl? Black girl. What? Yes. About that life. I don't know what life that is, but I know she's like it. I don't get DP'd off GP. I've actually only have done that once. Is it once? Once too many. Just one time. You don't have to break a phone. You'd, you'd be surprised, man. You'd be fucking surprised. That one DP. Um, mm. DPs are better than just like anal, though. Have you ever DP'd a girl? No. Oh, yeah. You've never had sex in a room with another man? No. Okay. <laughs> just threesomes only with two bitches. I've had a couple how do foursomes, you, how too. Do you, how do you initiate threesomes? i some fucking threesomes. foursomes, too. Okay. Add my fucking shit right. Put that on his resume. Not because I'm going to be you, real. I'm, how gonna, did you I'm initiate, a super fucking elite nigga. How did no, you initiate I don't, don't your hover group over my sex? Shit. I'm elite. Like, most men don't even have threesomes like that. And then to be like, I've had foursomes, and then I've had multiple foursomes. I'm elite. I don't have this clout for fucking nothing. Who's fu- Dick must be large. Wow. This is definitely an 80% men watching this. That was this. so much big dick energy, though. No, nah, just, okay. It was so big. <clears throat> like, it was huge. Like, I almost choked. Oh, shit. We have, like, five minutes left. Yeah, I almost choked. Because it was you, so you much don't big choke dick on... energy. Okay. Ask the question. I was like... You don't choke. 
She doesn't choke. She doesn't choke. Guys. No Trust gag me. reflex. Trust me. She laughs. Trust me. Um, how did you initiate those three foursomes? Three foursomes? Three, three, threesome foursomes. How did you initiate those? Wow. The foursome, I think, is a lot more complex. That is more interesting. Okay. Wow. wow Can I tell this story? Yeah. I'm going to fucking do it. Tell the story. I'm going to do it. I was at a party. It was actually my party. Mm. Holy shit. I'm going to really say this Was shit. it your birthday? No. Oh. That would have been a fucking lit birthday gift. Yeah, that would have been. Oh, it wasn't even his I birthday. Know birthday. Like, what up? No. And they let him put the icing on it. I won't say the date. Because guys that, you know, like these girls, some of these girls are misbehaving. Some of these girls might not be as free or as... Um... Just fucking <clears throat> tell the story, dog. Don't I'm nobody sorry. care. How did yeah. it happen? Nobody cares if they were single or not. Facts, you're right. Damn. They didn't care when they were sucking your dick, so Whoa. boom. I definitely got like three girls sucking my dick at once. That was pretty good. Well, not my dick, but one was on dick and both balls. Making thought that was pretty water. legendary. I saw that on porn before. Making my mouth water. How did you get there, though? The like, cl- what did you do? I was in the club, mm-hmm. and I had a very, it was a very crazy day. This is more than normal. This does not happen to me normally. Girls don't be jealous and mad. It was a day where I had like, probably like maybe seven or eight girls in the club. That at one point or another I've had sex with. So it was just a lot. Oh, go ahead. And then they started to try to out like outshine each other. I started yeah. noticing. Mm. And I was like, my you know, my guys is like, yo, bro, what the fuck is going on? Cause they start to know your your bitches and be like, I like, yo, bro, I don't know. I'm staying in the DJ booth. <laughs> you just gotta hide. You know what was going on? Then I start to see the the Lesbo play play action. Oh, they touch each other butt, and she's I'm like, I'm not going down there. No, no, no. Not getting in. Nope. It's not happening, right? I'm like, yeah, it's not happening. So, all right, cool. So, we go in. I I go outside, and then it was just a bunch of girls. Mm -hmm. And I just was like, kind of like, I didn't know what the fuck to do. You know who was with me? Shout out to GS9 Gino. He was with me. (laughs) Gino was with me. I love Gino. Gino was with me. And Gino was like, yo, bro, what the fuck are you doing? I said, I don't know right now. And there was a girl there who, oh, I did. I had a threesome with her before, too, mm-hmm. already. A threesome. Oh, okay. Yeah. There was another girl there that I had a threesome with. And then there was, a, yeah, I've had threesomes with all of the girls. That probably made it easier. Of course. But all of the girls weren't ever had threesomes together. They were three some. So were they just girls that you just like smash and dash? Like were they? Just... I don't dash anything. So where are all these bitches at today? <laughs> oh them? Oh like you, you know, dashed? They, well they have, they dash me. Yeah they dash me. They get fed up. So those three girls they all no communication. Communication is a very wide word. None of them are actively my girls. His girls. Maybe like maybe like one or two could be like like a phone call away. Yeah, one one is you know. So you all so you had already had threesomes with all three of these girls prior to this with yeah. different women in each of those scenarios. Like you, some like, were like mixed and match, some were like different. So those like three multiple. girls, because we're talking about a foursome, yeah. you three girls. Yes. So the, has any crazy. of those three fucked each other before? Yes. Hmm. So there was like one new bitch. Yes. Oh, I see, I see. But that bitch has had a threesome with one of the girls and another girl before. Mm. Yeah, crazy, right? And they were, these were like, and I lie to you not, like if y'all could really, I swear on my fucking life, these are three gorgeous women. I swear. Like, no, like, oh, we got Who's the Who's doubting that? I don't know. I just we're wanted not. to add that. Like, we're oh, not. Man. We're not doubting it. A, A1 tits, one, A1, oh my God really pretty pussies. It was like everybody had their pussy waxed. It was like, y'all wanted to give the pussy today. Oh my God. And that's why they didn't. And then it just was like... So did you invite them back to the house? They were in the car and they were like pulling out a titty each, grabbing pussy. It was crazy. It was crazy. And you had to drive home? It was the worst drive home. Yeah. I was losing it. Dick heart. I, I, my dick wasn't hard. It was waking up. Because Gino was in the car with me. My dick was not hard while Gino was oh, in the so car. Oh, so they were in the back seat. Yeah, I didn't want Gino to come, but he still came in the car. 
I wanted to just put him in an Uber from Manhattan. <laughs> Shout out to Gia Stunt and Gino said, no, I'm coming. I said, I'm going to still let you go at the door. <laughs> okay. I was so prepared that I had Gino's Uber waiting in the front of my crib. The second that we got home, oh. I put him in his Uber. He was very mad at me. Okay. That's my brother. I'm sorry. When oh, I get famous, so you, I owe so you. took all these girls back to your home, back to your house. Yes. Hmm. hmm. And as soon as y'all got in the door? It was really crazy. Like, as soon as y'all got in the door? One girl literally said, yo, what the, f- are we doing this or what? I was like, yo, this can't be fucking real. I literally, I literally How went. How long ago was this? Less than a year. No, isn't it nice to be you? Yes. It was pretty crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, now I'm thinking about it. And I just, I went to the bathroom. I went, I go to wash my face, wash my hands. I'm like, yo, I got a shower. Like, this shit's crazy. I literally go in the back to get my towel. Pussy eating already. Whoa. Thinking about it right now. Obviously. Wow. It you were, was crazy. That was an amazing night. So what advice can you give like guys when it comes to that? Like how do you how do they get in that position? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you cannot flop. First of all, if you have a threesome with a girl, you can't flop. If you flop, it's over. They're never fucking you again. Cause then you've double. What is failed. flopping? Like be more specific. Nutting fast in a threesome. You have oh, to perform well. Okay. Like I've nut fast in threesomes, but like I'm like I've been there with these two. Like, with the, if you f- nut fast in the threesome, that got to be third, fourth time. Mm. It cannot be the first or the second time. First and second time, you have to have A1 dick. If you do not, give up. Try again. Okay. You cannot come fast. Okay. You got to be elite. And you got to, like, not absorb So, But basically, these girls, these women, they picked each other. Because you had seven or eight bitches that, you know what I'm saying, was yeah, all there. So they were kind of just vibing with each other. And then initially, well, it was all the, like... The, la- the last close, I had to close the deal at the end. Uh-huh. I made a little remark, one bit. I pulled her aside. It was like, yo, this is what we're going to do. You really with it? She was like, oh, so oh, you had crazy. a little pep talk? Yeah, I had to do a pep with talk. With the new bitch? Because you had already it had a threesome went. with the other two. Well, no. It actually was one girl that was in it that needed a pep talk, too. Oh, really? Because she would have probably felt territorial. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So she needed to like know that like like I'd be like, listen, it was it, a, it okay? Yeah, just FYI. Yeah, so the girl who like, was feeling territorial, like like did was it more the sort of thing like she chose the girls? No. No. Huh. I think they all. I mean, they all they just liked cool. each other. Yeah. They're bad bitches. I think I I I don't know. I got lucky. Okay, you get it. They were bad bitches. Bad bitches get jealous too. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I've watched it. Yeah. So they're not all, so let's not act like all bad bitches want to eat another bad bitch pussy. Don't care how bad she They is. do sometimes. But like they like to a bad bitch will eat a bad bitch, bitch pussy easy. They just want to feel like they're the queen bad bitch. That's just it. Mm, okay. You have to convince the girls that you're the queen. Mm. That's a little difficult sometimes. Cause sometimes it just isn't like that. Or sometimes they're queens in different spaces. What? I'm just listening. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was really crazy. Uh, I didn't I, do too well in the foursome, though. Yeah. Oh, you didn't? You no. didn't perform well? No, probably like 11, 12 minutes. That's still pretty good, though. Yeah. They were already getting each other off before Going you even crazy. got there. So. Going, it was so much for me. That was the second foursome I've ever had. Mm-hmm. The first foursome was with like these two girls that were like in a relationship, lesbian shit. They weren't really lesbians because they took mad dick that night. That was crazy. That was years ago. That's interesting. Shout out so to you them. have a very active sex life too. See, you always make me feel like when we sit down and we have our talks and we have our well, we're working. I've had moments. You make You've me had, feel. Like, runs. Why is it a difference though? Why wasn't my stuff moments? Why? What makes it a run? Because you just had mad of them. Like I had two. Like I haven't had. How more. many times have you fucked three bitches? Not a lot. Are you nuts? I've seen like mad lesbian orgies you've had. What are you talking about? This more than three that I can think of. Are you nuts? I'm trying to think of them. Yeah, you got a cheerleader, a BBQ. You've had fun. A, a barbecue. Oh yeah. Oh look He's at that. He's called it a fun. BBQ. Uh, yeah, I have had. I've, I've had seen. lots of lesbian look like, at that. I've orgies. Had. I mean, it's nothing for girls to fuck each other. It's like, I get uh, it. So you fuck more girls than I have more consistent. What is that? Uh, I'm about to end this fucking podcast. I don't want to hear about you fucking. Oh my God. Why not? We just talked about a whole foursome that you had in Yeah, because you've still had more. I've had a foursome twice. You've had a foursome 
four T times. Stop. That's not true. Chanel, I want to still like love you how you are. Don't fuck it oh, up. Oh, so you're gonna love me less because I fucked people? Mm. Wow. The sex, the sexist. You're sexist. You believe that? That you're sexist? All right, we're gonna ask. Wanna ask the guys? You wanna ask them? Ask. Is it easier to love your partner if they had sex with more people or less? Or does it not matter? Because it's before you. Does it matter? We'll see. Does oh, yeah. it matter or does it not? Does the amount of partners your partner had matter or does it not? Or is that an immature thing? I think it's very immature. Do you want somebody sexually experienced or not? I don't know. No. Oh. Well, you might want to find out. Don't talk with your fucking neck. Point your finger in my face. Stop with your stuff. This is the this is it. This there is, you go. When we posted the, me choking here, this get went super viral. What are you doing today? And she's gonna spit on my hand. Kill this girl out of control. <laughs> Why is this spit on my hand? It's mine. I watched you wash your hands. Episode done. We're out. Come back next week. <sighs> You're out of control. You're fucking out of control. Listen, I gotta do a commercial. Keep that shit away. Listen, it's the Homebody Podcast. New episodes all the motherfucking time. I'm telling you, speak to them. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> if you like what you see and you fuck with it, then subscribe. You just gotta always do your own fucking way, man. Whatever. I Bye. want to. Yes. My way. The highway. I love it. Ah, shit. I do it. What is good? Yeah, that's good. All right. He liked it. He liked it. He really, really liked it.